Hello, Jota. Delighted to have you back in the, the hoops. Good um, to be back. Absolutely delighted to have you. Throughout last season, you showed that you could be the difference maker, whether that was scoring important goals or assists like that world-class goal that uh, Kyogo scored from your pass against Berenge Barros. What do you feel you improved upon in the last year? And what do you think you can improve upon or are you going to target this year? Well, something really important for me was the game time because I had three seasons that I didn't have plenty of game time. And that's something which is really important for a footballer because you can train as long as you want, but the feelings that you have on the pitch will always be different from the training. There's just something different about the game itself. So I think that was the plus on my on my trajectory. And um, sorry, the other one was what, what can I uh, improve, upon. improve? Well, that's something that comes with the game and with the season. So um, I think I just have to keep on working hard in the training, to listen to the coach, to understand his ideas, and everything will be natural. Yeah. Hi there. Um, first of all, thank you for signing. It's uh, made <laughs> all of our summer, I think. <laughs> thank um, you. Just wanted to ask you, you touched on it there uh, about the manager. How big a role did he play and how big has his influence been on you uh, over the past year to make the decision to become a permanent Celtic player? Um, the philosophy of Ainge is something that I was looking for for a long time. I've grown up with these ideas of the game um, when I was younger and to find a coach like, like him um, in this stage of my career is really important for me because uh, I love the way we play, um, the intensity, the creativity, everything. The way we play, it's just tremendous. So it's just the right place to be and to develop. So I'm really happy to join. Thank you. Yeah. You said uh, you fell in love with Celtic and that's one of the reasons you've joined. Uh, you mentioned uh, earlier about being at Benfica for 15 years. How much are you looking forward to playing in the Champions League and how would you feel if they drew each other in the Champions League? Um, yeah, that's that's a good question. Um, so Champions League is something really big, and it's no lies that a player always looking is looking for is always looking for to play these kind of uh, competitions. So us being in this competition is really important, and I just want to make the the best for us. And um, about the Benfica. Uh, the basic question. I just don't want to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> they still need to qualify. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Jota, thank you very much for your time today. We've all been checking our phones all summer. You've been everywhere, so we're, we're very thankful that you caught a flight thank back you. to Glasgow. Thank you. Um, last season, you had some season. You impressed us all, and we've all been singing your name all season. You made your debut against Ross County, and you scored first against Ray Rovers. How did you feel when you missed the, the League Cup um, due to your hamstring injury? Ah, was that okay. was that quite a killer? Um, yeah, definitely. So um, I was not here. I was doing the rehab away. And um, uh, yeah, that was something that I really wish I could be, be in. But unfortunately, our life is not easy. And sometimes you get these injuries and we have to adapt. We have to readjust. And uh, I was treating myself to be here as soon as possible, but uh, I was still in touch with everyone, and I, I tried to feel a bit of what everyone was feeling. Um, so yeah, that was it. Yeah. Welcome back, Jota. It's good to see Cheers. you. Um, the manager on Trophy Day spoke about all the players in the squad now being leaders in their own right after winning the title and winning the League Cup this season. What experiences would you pass on to any newcomers arriving at Celtic Park this season? Wow, that was so Scottish. You have to say <laughs> <that>. <laughs> So on Trophy Day, the manager spoke about all the players being leaders okay. in their own right. Yeah. Um, what experiences would you say you've learned this season that you would pass on to? From to him? From, from Ange and from yourself, from your own perspective, to okay. new players coming in. Well, we never stop, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think that was the best thing he, he said. So that's that's pretty much all he, he says to us because he doesn't want us to stop and the way we play says much about what our training is about and our idea of the game. We don't want <coughs> to stop. We always want more and more and more goals. 
uh, good football, um, to put a smile on the face of the fans whenever we play, uh, because of course it's really important to win and that's our main goal, but to win and to play good football, I think that's the ultimate ultimate challenge. So I think we did it quite a few times last season. Yeah. That's good. Well, Joe, welcome back. Um, pleasure to speak to you. Um, Cheers. A very different situation this year from last year because obviously you signed on deadline day and there was an expectation to come in and perform straight away. How does it feel this time around that you've got a, a full pre-season with Celtic, with the coach and the rest of the players to try and prepare for the next campaign? Yeah, it was some crazy days last season, I still remember. Um, on the deadline, yeah, then everything went well. This time I think I have time to prepare myself. I think it's actually the first time in five years that I can do a pre-season with a team that I will play or that I will be throughout the season. So I think it's good for everyone. I just want to prepare myself physically and mentally for the season that we are going to have and uh, perform the best as I can. Hi Jota, uh, just to echo the previous comments, delighted that you've signed, um, I think Scottish football in general is a, a better place to have a player of your talents, Thank uh, you. grace us each week. Um, last season was obviously a transitional season for Celtic, we had a new manager, a lot of new players and new ideas. Now that we've had a season you know, with, with everyone getting used to each other, do you feel that we're much better equipped for European football next season and are you excited that we would be able to compete at that level? Definitely, I'm... Um, I'm really excited to compete on that level and um, I think we created a strong basis last, last season with the guys we had, with all the lads and um, this season it's just um, um, it's just another season that we have to do better and better. We know that we are in a competi competition really strong, a really, uh, a really strong competition and we just want to do our best. Uh, now we just have to, to be together, to, to get along again, and just to, to fly. Yeah. Hi Jota, uh, welcome home. Thank you. Um, I'd like to say, of course, you know how big the club is, uh, size and stature, you know how much of a fan favourite you are. Did you realise throughout the summer how much of a storm you caused with Celtic fans all over the world grabbing pictures with you and we didn't know whether you were signing? Did you realise how popular you were throughout the summer on your, on your holidays? No, because I stay, I try to stay off the grid as much as I can. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't really have the idea. I I just keep on focusing on my football and the training stuff and my family. And that's it. Those are my priorities. Uh, some friends kept on telling me like, uh, bro, this is happening. Bro, this is happening. <laughs> yeah, and I said to myself, that's nice. That's happening. But uh, yeah, I just found the philosophy of life to leave it straight, to focus on football and just to enjoy as much as I can. So thank you to everyone that showed the support, I guess. I think I cannot reach everyone because, well, we are millions, aren't yeah. we? <laughs> so, um, well, a big thank you from me. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Joe. Uh, welcome back. Um, one of the players you liked to talk with very well last season was Kyogo. Um, he's combined in the Europa yeah. League. How exciting is it to link up with Kyogo again and the Champions League and the, the other competitions and how, how good a player is he? Um, Kyogo is an amazing player, I have to tell you. Like some of his movements are world class. I'm not sure if there's m many players in the world who can do his movements. And I've seen a lot of strikers and quality strikers. So to be in the team like like this team with Kyogo just, just helps. But not just Kyogo, I think we have a lot of quality in every sector, every position. And whoever goes on the pitch will be ready for sure, uh, which is best team, the best thing on our team. Everyone is always ready to perform and to deliver results. And that's, that's what we are looking for. Yeah. Hi Jota, welcome back Hello. to Celtic. Um, last season was such a, turned out to be such a special season for the club. All the fans back in after Covid, and coming in, reclaiming the league trophy. But what was the highlight of the season for you? What was your uh, top moment of the year? Um, I think there was a game, I've said this before, I think there was a game that we clicked, which is a, which was against Betis away. I think that was the game we thought, OK, we can really play this way and we can fight against the best teams. And if we do what we did today, we can do much better in the future. And then it's just believe on Ainge ideas and every coach. 
because after that we just thought to 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 ourselves like okay let's do it but to do this we must all believe if there's one who doesn't believe this is not going to be good so the end product was there with the titles in the end which shows that it was a uh, that we believed <laughs> yeah hi joe hello yeah you seem to have an instant chemistry with this club culture and fan base and i was just wondering if you would give us an insight into what it's like, what it's really like playing for this club, being an outsider coming into the Celtic family. I think that that's something that only players who have played in here in Celtic Park can can answer and might not be like created words to explain the feeling of that. I can say many words about that, but it will never be worth it, you know, because only the people who can live it inside can say to you like, uh, yeah, that's different. So, yeah, I wish I could explain this better, but it's impossible. It's it's a great feeling. It's something special. Looking around, playing in the pitch and everything and to defend these colors, it's truly tremendous. Yeah. Hi, Jota. I just want to say welcome to Celtic. I'm Thank you. personally very glad to have you here. Thank uh, you. With Celtic automatically qualifying for the Champions League group stage next season, what are your hopes and aspirations for yourself and Celtic as a whole in this competition? Um, well, I think we, we think game after game and after that we see what happened. But uh, one thing we are sure, we are going to keep uh, our ideas. We are not going to be a different team from last season just because this is Champions League. That doesn't make sense for us. So we are just going to try to um, practice our, our football and to do it the best way we can, and and that's it. Uh, let's fight against them all. Yeah. <laughs>